The Tao of Wu by the RZA Fifth Pillar of Wisdom Enter the Abbot What we learn to do, we learn by doing. Aristotle In April of 1991, I got back to New York on a mission. At my trial, my moms inspired me to walk the right path. And I did. Literally. In Staten Island, I walked every day for hours. I mean walked. Like Damo walked all the way from India to China. I'd walk from the Park Hill Projects to the Staten Island Ferry Dock from New Brighton to the Stapleton Projects. Walking through May, June, July. Some people thought I was crazy because they'd see me out there walking and talking to myself. Later, I told one of them, I may have been talking, but I wasn't talking to myself. Those walks were a form of meditation, which any wisdom seeker should practice. You can meditate in the lotus position, the royal seat, or the royal crown position as it's called. Or you can meditate just walking down the block. You don't have to be still. Your eyes don't have to be closed. Meditation just means you are aware of your inner self as well as your outer self. Watch yourself because nobody else is going to watch you but you. Like most meditation, those walks on Staten Island didn't create something. They revealed something, something that was already floating over the island, ready to take form. I found that what I wanted to do, could do and should do was form a record company collect the best MCs I knew, and become the kind of rap group that no one had ever imagined. Meditation allowed me to see what we already were in a new light. It brought me wisdom, which is light. It illuminated how these seemingly unrelated areas of knowledge connected to one another. For example, I've been reading the Bible for years. When it says that Peter cut the guy's ears off in the garden, I figured that Peter had to be a martial artist. To cut a guy's ear off with a slice that precise, you got to be nice. That's on a physical level. But on a mental level, his words were that nice. He must have said something that wrecked this guy with his knowledge. That kind of knowledge could work in hip hop. The knowledge was latent. The Wu-Tang movie, the Bible stories, the Kung Fu epics, hip hop battles, But meditation allowed me to connect them all to see their possibilities and apply them to my life. Knowledge is knowing. Wisdom is doing. And I realized that nobody else could do that at the time because nobody had that particular group of experiences, knowledge and homies. I'd been making tapes with these dudes for years. Even when I had a deal as Prince Rakim, Park Hill niggas like Meth, Deck, Raekwon and you God would come over to my crib and I'd produce them. But meditation on Staten Island revealed what was there the whole time. The illest MC team in history. When Damo was meditating for nine years, his future self came back and talked to his current self. His current self said, who are you? His future self says, I'm you. And Damo says, what do you mean? His future self says, I'm what you're going to become. Damo had attained a state in which he could see that time is linear, but life is eternal. So there's really no beginning, no ending. Linear logic measures only the four dimensions, length, width, depth, and time. But in the fifth dimension, energy surpasses time. Light surpasses time. Time is just a controller of certain planes. It's not the master. The true master is consciousness. And I mean true consciousness, not simply being awake. I'm talking about the consciousness that never sleeps. The part of you that is aware of your consciousness. There's a part of you that's always there, always consistent. That represents your true self. The part connected to God. That's who you got to get in touch with.